being able to work with a team and um, accomplish all that the city's accomplished, it's something new happens every year. It, it never gets boring, it's, it's, it's always exciting. When the city assumed responsibility for the Greenville Transit Authority in 2008, it quickly became apparent that a significant repair effort was necessary for the new GreenLink system to maintain routes and operate safe buses. Gordon King was assigned to the GreenLink maintenance shop to help repair vehicles, organize parts, train mechanics, assure compliance with city policies, and provide overall supervision. Beginning as a fleet services mechanic for the city of Greenville 33 years ago, Gordon serves today as garage superintendent. Thanks in large part to Gordon King's knowledge and dedication, the GreenLink fleet provides Greenville's residents and visitors with safe, reliable transportation. For the last 10 months, I've been helping to maintain with a team the fleet services transit buses. Before that, for the 30 years before that, it was public works equipment and police vehicles, um, maintenance and repairs. The first job I ever had was in cutting grass with lawnmowers that my grandfather made me put together out of parts. The worst job I ever had was cleaning out horse stalls. When the city decided to take on the buses, Gordon was planning and preparing before day one, trying to figure out what his role was going to be in it and how he could make the transition easier for everybody. He just loves the challenge. I worked with Gordon for about 24 years. Uh, even though we're co-workers, we're um, more like family than we are workers. Uh, just when you come to work, it's, it's, just like, it's just like coming home sometimes. You're relaxed, Gordon's easy to work with, he's, he's fun to work with, and he'll do anything for you he can do. There he comes. See what he's got me working on now. Yeah, there's two. We got two new ones we can go ahead and yeah, put on here, and then we can compare how the three caps do against the new ones on the. If that one's still in there, we'll have to drill it back out. So this is ready to go. If we put one, if we can get one in from the side, let the seat all the way down. Let's see if we can see it from in there. I think the hole was drilled a little bit too high. Let's let her drive up the top of the hill and get in 503, and we'll fix this while she's gone, or take one out of 101 and put in here. That traffic and road construction killing them again today. Hey Rick, it's Gordon over at Green Link. Looking for a seat belt for an 04 E450 cutaway van, driver seat belt. Seat belt won't be here tomorrow. If 101 comes back, we can pull the one out of it and put it in 502. If we take a bolt and a nut and a washer, I think we can do this. Gordon King has worked with our program here uh, at Bonds Career Center for the last eight years. Uh, he's been on an advisory committee, which we get business industry people to work with the school to help us to train our students in the way that they can be used within the community. And he's been very helpful, very supportive of us, and uh, really has been somebody that uh, you know we, we've needed and we can count on him. He's always at our meetings and uh, just, just a great guy. I love motorcycle riding, all kinds of weather, storms, wet, winter, snow. I ride every day, doesn't matter how cold. Gordon and I uh, met at church. I come to find out he was um, interested in motorcycling. And uh, we usually try to take one or two trips a year for long weekends. And uh, we're planning on going to back out to Colorado this year together. Uh, we got to ride out there on the bikes last year and had a really good time. My favorite place to go on vacation would be anywhere my motorcycle would take me. Last year it was Colorado, 4,343 miles in 10 days. Maybe the same place again this year, but just wherever the motorcycle goes, where I like to go. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Um, another one of my hobbies besides motorcycle would be dog training. We have nine and we do um, agility competitions and some obedience. I've trained one of my dogs to her master agility champion title. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? I love dogs. We've got nine of them, so I really love dogs.
thing that keeps me coming back to work every day besides a paycheck would be the challenge. Something different every day. When I first came here, um, I thought it was going to be a job for a short time, but this one is just continuing to be different every day. I'm thankful for my job, my family, and a free country. Thank <laughs> you.